Hello everyone, good morning. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome to my sister's house building here in the countryside. It is currently 9 a.m. Yes, I just woke up and showered. I didn't have any breakfast yet, but the sun is out today. I'm very happy. It has been raining for the last three days. Such a bummer. But anyway, I'm gonna take you guys with me because we have quite a big update. I think you guys have seen it in the uh, previous clips. All right, Papa is here. He's right there working. By the way, we've already uh, got some of the second batch of materials that is needed for the house. So those are square tube and square bars. I'm not sure, but yeah, Papa, ugh, the paint is so um, strong. Papa is just painting it with a red lid to, you know, um, prevent it from having rust. And then over there, you guys can see the corrugated roof and we have another batch of sand. All right, now we're gonna go to the house. Um, I'm also bringing right here, guys, the snacks. So we have three people working today as well. All right, it's snack time for them. This is the current situation, everyone. As you can see, we have four posts already up. And yeah, that's not the height yet. Um, they're still gonna continue putting more um, sand and cement at the top. And then yeah, they should be starting to put the roof. Um, I am really hoping that we will be able to put the roof ASAP because it has just been raining in the afternoon every single day here in the countryside and it's not good because they had to stop obviously but yeah anyway let's give them the snacks oh uh, they've already started doing the walls right here to the there it is guys so i just finished with my breakfast and now since we already got the second batch of the materials for my sister's house i am going to share with you how much are the stuff this time okay it is quite a lot as well all right now we're going to start here um with this box now here is uh, here is the welding rod I think this is three kilogram and this costs 450 pesos so yeah we are going to weld um, the roof so since that's why we needed a welding rod we actually have a welding machine that we use um, in my house before so um, it's owned by um, Atan which is my sister's husband so we're gonna make use of that and then we have here another little box right here not sure what do you guys call this ah this is called tech screw so we are going to use this to screw the roof into the beam or the iron <laughs> okay i'm not very good at the terms when it comes to the building materials so please bear with me but yeah this is tech screw we have one box and it costs 950 pesos that's that's a bit pricey so that is 500 pieces i think yeah there you go and then we have here this is the red lid we have here three three of these um red lid yeah we will be using this to paint all of the metals that we will be using as well as the roof so three um red lid how much is it it is 2040 pesos there you go all right so now we're gonna proceed with the corrugated roof these are all of the corrugated roof guys and that's a total of 16 pieces of roof and the length is 10 feet and the thickness is 22 
So for the corrugated roof, it is a total of 5,920 pesos. All right, so next material is the square tube. So this is two by two square tube and we have 10 pieces of this one and it costs 5,600 pesos. And then over here, we do have another square tube and this one is two by four. So as you guys can see, Papa is actually painting them right now with red lid to protect it. And then uh, going back, the two by four, which is these ones, um, we have five pieces as you guys can see. And then that cost us 4,850 pesos. So there you go. Those are all of the um tubes <laughs> all of the metals that we will be using as the beam i believe um to um screw the roof so ta-da all right guys so the total amount of the second materials that we got is actually 21,820 pesos now if you guys can recall the first materials that we actually purchased cost us 25,750 pesos now if we are going to add both of the materials that's equivalent to 47,570 pesos <laughs> my goodness if you guys can remember our budget is 100,000 pesos so 100,000 pesos minus 52 I minus 47,570 pesos we still have 52,430 pesos and that's not including labor yet but yeah so far so good at least we already have the roof and then yeah I think we needed more materials once we do the flooring um, the tiles and yeah a lot more but yeah we still have 52,430 pesos so it's good And then we've also added uh, 12 pieces of 10 millimeters rebar or cabilia. Now I know that you guys call it rebar in English. <laughs> I have just been saying iron rod. I'm totally wrong. Thank you guys. Uh, yeah, now I know it's rebar. There you go. So it cost us uh, an additional of 1,980 pesos for the rebar. Ta-da! Good morning. Who are yes, those? This is Tokyo and Unicorn. Tokyo is mine, right? No, it's mine. Unicorn is yours. Tokyo is mine. No, this is your unicorn. This is mine, Tokyo. No, you're wrong. You're totally wrong. Tokyo. No, this is mine. No, honey. It's mine. Tita is reading a new book, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. This is mine, Tokyo. No. Stop. Honey, do you have medal? No. If you have a medal, then I'm going to give you a prize. <coughs> okay, so you have to be good in school. What prize do you want? Um, a mango cheesecake? No. What is it? So, Mama, if you have a medal, Mama will give you a mango cheesecake. Yes. And Nana will give you... Toys. Toys. And then Tita will give you... Uh, like this. What? No! <laughs> Not like that. What's that? That's coming from YouTube. I cannot give you something like that. 
Oh, you want me to give that one for you? Yeah. Do you not want an inflated swimming pool? Yes. You want swimming pool instead? Yes. Okay, so you get a swimming pool, you get a mango cheesecake and toys. Okay, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Are you helping? Uh. <laughs> Good girl. Hello everyone. All right. Good afternoon. So it is currently 5 p.m. right now. So um, they have just finished working for today. And can I just share that this current um, situation that you guys are seeing now is actually equivalent to total of four working days. Now there are probably two days that they were only on a half day because it was raining in the afternoon so yeah anyway so we do have four posts now that is up that's good and then they've already started doing the wall on that side we have three piles of um, wall on the front as well and then we have one in the back in this side they have not started it yet because there's two big rocks not sure how are they gonna go about it but anyway um <laughs> i am incredibly happy guys can you tell how fast like there's only three people that's currently working on my sister's house and yeah they this is what they have accomplished so far so yeah i'm very lucky uh you know that papa and atan are there to help um for the labor so basically the main labor that we are actually paying for my sister's house is actually my uncle because he is the main builder so for my uncle i know some of you guys are asking how much do we pay for labor costs here in the countryside so for my uncle we're paying him 600 pesos per day and that is actually including um, lunch so he has free lunch and then free snacks in the morning and free snacks in the afternoon as well so if you don't give them snacks and no meal or lunch i think uh you will have to give them 800 pesos but yeah so we have 600 pesos and then 
you guys might ask if um, we also do pay Aten and Papa. Actually, we don't. Um, they are our family and obviously it's Aten's house and Papa's bedroom will be over there. But I know they're working here the entire day and some of you guys said that even if you know their family you still have to pay them but our family setting is not like that okay so i hope that will give you guys an idea that not all families are the same our family's setup is totally different with whatever is yours so if your family doesn't do stuff for you for free then that's your kind of family my kind of family is different um they don't ask anything in return but of course you guys know me i don't really just you know let them work 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 around the house and whatnot and not appreciate their work of course i give them allowance so we just call them allowance especially for papa he doesn't really need a lot he doesn't even ask a lot so yeah i just give him whenever he asks me and that is it <laughs> okay so i'm quite happy guys this is the current situation of my sister's house it is very small i know that some of you guys said this is the size of your toilet bathroom or your walk-in closet good for you i hope this you know make you realize and appreciate whatever it is that you guys have because you know in some other areas of the world some people have your closet as their main house <laughs> all right so yeah i'm very happy guys we're quite um we accomplished quite a lot for just four days um considering we have a really bad weather even now it's actually drizzling so i will have to wrap this up but yeah um i'm so happy uh it's finally happening um so far everything's looking good mm -hmm.